family is grieving this evening after losing their loved one in a fatal car crash at the intersection of Page and Hamilton. Police say three cars were involved in this crash that sent six people to the hospital. Fox 2's Mallory Thomas is live with what police say caused this crash. Mallory. Police are not sure why the driver of an Impala left his lane and crashed into a truck head on, but they do believe that speeds are a contributing factor. It's like a big boom, like something dropped out of the sky. It was probably something pretty bad, so when I came out, this is what I saw. Bob Morito Automotive Group Sky Fox video shows the three cars involved in an accident where passengers are stuck inside. The little boy was crying. It's hot out here. He was screaming and hollering. And, you know, like he said, his, his, his head was hurting, his uh, wrist was hurting, his chest was hurting. So I just ran and got him an ice pack until somebody can get to him. Kiana Nichols says the little boy was in the truck with his dad and another passenger. Neighbors say the driver of the Impala was racing when he crashed into the truck head on. Police are trying to figure out exactly what happened. When you come up this hill, you can't see oncoming traffic. So maybe the high rate of speed caused them to lose control of the vehicle. The truck, when it was struck head on, it ended up landed on top of the Tesla. Lieutenant Angela Dickerson says the driver of the Impala died. Five others are in the hospital. Neighbors say this is a very dangerous intersection. It's ridiculous. People drive really, really fast and I've just seen so many accidents right here on this corner. I tell everybody when the light changes green, take your time before you enter the intersection. Wear your seat belt. Do not speed. Please don't and be careful. And police have not yet released the names of the people who were involved in that accident. They did tell us that the two people who were in that Tesla did not have any injuries and were not taken to the hospital. Reporting live in St. Louis, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.